Hello, and welcome to the fourth recording of Let's Read Ruby Quest Part 1. Gosh, we suck. We really do. <laughs> Fraps just doesn't want us to record us. This or, Fraps is just a dick. Or someone forgets to put their earbuds in. Okay, yeah, I guess I kind of sucked on that one. I was the first one! Yeah. Then the second one. Fraps didn't third, pick up my microphone. And then, the third, and then the third one. I just freaked out, and then everything was working, and then once it was uploaded to YouTube, half of the audio was missing. Like, I noticed that, and I was like... How, did he not check it? I swear, though, because in the editing program, it played. I know I heard it. Uh, it's just one of those things. I know, right? Would this be qualified as a let's read curse? Yes, a let's read curse. It's like the let's play curse. You can be totally fine at working stuff and making things work when you aren't being recorded, but as soon as you press that play button, everything goes to shit. Yep. I guess it, I guess it qualifies to let's reads. Indeed it does, my good chum. Indeed it does. So without further ado, it's time to begin. Or to continue a fourth time. Okay. Episode four. It's time to begin. It is very dark here. Hardly anything can be seen. Turn on the damn lights. Fortunately, it's too dark in here. It's hard to tell where the lights are. Search pockets. Feels like something metallic with a rubber grip. But there's no lighter, matches, or flashlight. Walk over to the red thing. As near as you can tell, the red light is only a foot or so away from your face. Reach out and grasp for the red light. Ah, there we go. Ruby can see now. Examine that thing we found in her pockets. Apparently it's a hard turn can opener. Hand. What? I can't read. Grab the, <laughs> grab the hurdle near the ceiling of the cell. A row of... <laughs> I'm already fucking up. A row of small mesh holes open in the wall, venting in fresh air. Yell, is anyone there? Ruby yells, but there's no response. Her voice echoes in a small room. Attempt to tap into her latent vampiric powers to see if she has a high enough level in pro protean to turn into mist and escape the cell through the mesh wiring. Sadly, Ruby has no vampiric powers. Press every button she can find. Ruby gets the feeling that pressing all the buttons would probably be a bad idea. There are buttons of multiple colors. Which one should she try? Purple, purple, purple. For the hell of it! Purple. Sweet success! Ruby presses the purple button, and the top of the cell suddenly opens up to cool, clean air? Question mark! We already pressed the red button. The red button always gets pressed in media, ever. And the blue button, well, that's pretty, so we won't want to smudge it with our fingerprints just yet. Get out! Look around! Ruby surveys her surroundings. There are no doors here except for a portal on the north wall of this room. Unfortunately, there are metal shutters over the door. Search that trash can in the back. Ruby tries her best, but the lid of the barrel refuses to be pulled from its base. It won't open. Check the shelves. Do you mean the metal shutters? They're blocking the portal to the north. Look for a way to open that other cell. The cell slash locker slash coffin on the ground has a latch on the outside, but it's sealed with what appears to be a digital lock. There's no obvious way to undo the lock from the locker itself. Damn, if we had a cell phone, we could call Tank and have him upload hacking knowledge into Ruby's head. Who's Tank? I don't know, it's probably from a thing we haven't watched. <laughs> Which means it's lame! Yeah! Uh, Fuck that. Use can opener on can thing in the back. The barrel's lid comes up with the can opener's tenacious efforts. Inside, there's a few small lengths of bare electrical wire, but nothing else. Oh my god, bare electrical wire. It's like moose electrical wire, but instead of a moose, it's bare. <laughs> <Boom! laughs> Two wires. Oh my god, Ben, that was so lame. Ruby stows a piece of wire in her inventory. Get a load out of all of Ruby's abilities, general knowledges, and physical capabilities? Ruby has no magical or otherwise extraordinary powers. She has no knowledge of where she is, or how she got there, and though she is not a specialist and holds no particular, particularly special knowledge, she is reasonably competent with the things most people would be. Her physical capabilities are varied, she's limber, in good shape, but not particularly strong. 
She's currently carrying a can opener and a moose length of wire. Chew on wire. Ruby is above such primitive practices as chewing on wire and cannibalizing her young, if she had any. And besides, that would not be productive right now. Schlick furiously. <sighs> it even even the fir fourth time, still hard, still funny. Yeah. Yeah, funny. Yeah, guys, masturbating. Hilarious. Ruby is slightly bigger concerns at the moment. Slightly, but besides, there could be a hidden cameras around. Hmm, fine, but as soon as we're somewhere where there are definitely no cameras, the revolution begins. Up, Up with, with the mini skirts, down, down with the with panties. Oh boy. Check the terminal next to the door. It would appear these controls are out of order, but Ruby can tell this looks like an easy fix. Firstly, one of the wires is missing. Ruby's back is creeping me out here. It's weird. The art is strange. <laughs> Slicing it back together would be easy enough with the bare length of wire. Ruby found. Then there are connectors at the back of the control panel itself, so it would need to be screwed back into place. Can we open the trap at the back left corner, but not go down yet in case there's no ladder? It's actually pronounced Titha. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's the other way around. Spelling errors. There's some kind of access shaft in the corner of the room, complete with a ladder set into the wall. But it's barred off, and Ruby can't find it. Move the remains of the barrel to one side and see if anything lies under it. <laughs> and then a voice got in into this. Damn it, Ben. Huh? Whoever just talked on your side just got into the video. No one talked on my side. No, I swear to God, man. There's like this big voice. It's like right there now. Not now, but it was. What did it say? It was like muffled, like. I don't know. Okay, there's obviously a ghost in the recording. Oh, okay, there's a ghost with us. Really tries to shove the big barrel aside. But her physique is just too admirably girlish. It won't budge. Create a saw using the barrel pieces, wrapping the handle with the bare electrical wire, attempting to saw through the bars. Not only would that... Not only would a saw made of razor-sharp barrel... Ba razor-sharp ba barrel metal and moose wire be incredibly dangerous to use in any way, it certainly wouldn't have the durability or control to cut... What was that? What was what? Oh, fuck, fuck you, Ben. Cut through these bars, which appear to be stronger metal than the barrel anyway. Okay, that, that, it happened again, the voice. The voice, man. I hear it. You do get plus one ingenuity for your idea, though. Fucking ghosts. Uh, they're everywhere. Read your shit. Attempt to fashion a crude screwdriver using the barrel shards in either the handle of the can opener, if it slides off easily, or by shredding off part of the currently worn clothing. Ruby sees where you're going with this. Is Ruby wearing panties today? Yes, a quick check verifies she's got her underwear accounted for. Inten intended to remove an extraneous piece of clothing for the sake of hand protection? Ruby doesn't have enough clothing on for anything to really be considered extraneous. Check the terminal situated on the wall behind the barrel. The digital console appears to be waiting for a command. Enter command, open locker. That seemed to do something, a soft click comes from the other locker. While we're at it, enter command, sound horn. The console doesn't appear to recognize that command. Enter, open door. That got a response, but unfortunately the results weren't what Ruby had hoped for. Open the locker. Retarded. Ruby takes the two small coins off the top of the locker and pockets them. She opens it up to find... There's no one inside the locker. Instead, all that's inside is a pair of rubber gloves. That's a lot of evidence pointing to that schlicking session. Ha ha ha. Masturbating. Schlick. Heavy rubber... Yeah, schlick. I, I didn't even know that was a term for masturbating until, like, reading this. Yeah. 
<laughs> I've learned so much. Heavy rubber gloves don't make for very enjoyable schlicking. Enter open access shaft. It's asking for a code. Don the gloves, fix the terminal with the wire, and screw it together using one of the coins. A brilliant idea, especially since it negates the possibility of electrocution. Ruby, Ruby sets... sets... You son of a bitch. <sighs> Did you just read my line? No, sir. Good. <laughs> Go to your room. I'm in my room. Well, so am I. <laughs> Ruby Fourth sets... time! <laughs> oh god. Oh god. My sides. Ruby sets to work splicing the door's panel's <laughs> wires back together. Inspect the coins. The two coins <laughs> seem to just be ordinary looking quarters, but the edges make functional screwdrivers for the flat head screws in the panel. Ruby screws the repair panel back in place, and the up arrow lights up green. Press the green button. Here goes nothing. Ruby presses the button. Metal shutter has a lift. Oh god. Oh my. Oh my. Oh god. Uh, Kyle, oh. don't even pretend you don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is the fourth time we've read this goddamn section. Shut the f truck up. You can say fuck, Kyle. <laughs> Jesus. But I like trucks. You're a man now, Kyle. <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah. It would appear that Ruby... Oh, uh, wait, wait a minute. I just got that. That was an insult. I think. Fourth time! <laughs> it would appear that Ruby is underwater. Push down arrow. <laughs> the down arrow still isn't wet and doesn't respond to being pressed. Take off gloves. Reach out. Touch the water. Thankfully, there's a big glass window separating Ruby from a horrible drowning death. Enter. Open access shaft 017. Using the number on the plaque outside a reference, Ruby attempts to try opening the bars to the access shaft via the computer terminal once more. Look outside. See how far it is to the surface. Also, see if any predatory fish are visible. The water is murky. Ruby can see... Neither the surface, nor any details on the sea of swimming past the glass of blah, blah, blah. Climb down. Hope something reaches and shafts her from below. I see what you did there. I, I still can't get the read on that right, even after the second time I've read it. Shaft. Yeah, I think. Ah, uh, I don't even. Ah, uh, Ruby Quests. The story about a bunny girl who keeps on getting sexually harassed by an invisible voice in the sky. Or the ocean, to, uh, to, I guess. And also refuses to masturbate. Ruby descends down the access shaft's ladder. Congratulations, you've escaped the first room! Woo! Yes! For Ruby the fourth the time! Yeah! <laughs> Hardcore! Uh, Ruby descends the access hatch and comes upon a new room. There's a lot to see here. Say hello. Ruby introduces herself, herself, and says hi. The person who introduces herself is Tom, and says hi back. He doesn't seem particularly shy. Ask Tom how long he's been here and what he knows about this place. Tom won't say how long he's been here. Wow. Somebody's laughing and yelling in my house. Is it the ghosts? No, it's my dad and my... He, brother and his friends watching the Patriots game. Are they ghosts? <laughs> they are ghosts. Oh, okay. I've been raised by ghosts. That's pretty cool. They took like pity that, on me. It's like that movie I didn't see, like Paranorman. Paranorman? I heard oh, it was yeah. good and about that, ghosts. No, that wasn't about a kid who was raised by ghosts. It's about I heard it was about a kid and ghosts. <laughs> yeah, similar enough. Just, <laughs> just read. Fourth time. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah! Yeah! Tom won't say how long he's been here, just that he woke up and the cell hasn't gone now, so... He seems uninterested with this particular line of questioning and returns to contemplate his little sculpture. Walk really into wishes... the grid. <laughs> he really wishes he would stop asking questions. It's just a metal grating. Carve pumpkin into the shape of a keycard and insert into slot. Unfortunately, you're not soothy enough to figure out how to do this. Wait, where's the pumpkin in this? There is none. That was Why? a joke. 
Oh. Re you ever read Problem Sleuth? What pumpkin? Or you ever read? Actually, this is, uh, this is Jailbreak, right here. Yeah, Jailbreak shit. Jeez, man. That was my first MSPA adventure. Yeah. It wasn't yours. Yours was Homestuck. No one reads Jailbreak first. I did actually read Jailbreak first. Why? Because. Why don't you? <sighs> <laughs> then Problem Sleuth. Then Homestuck. I had a friend who read Problem Sleuth, then started Homestuck. Yeah. Whatever. Let's just read. Bard's Let's Quest get... and Suck it. Let's get to the stuff that we haven't already read. Yeah. Four times. Yeah, America! The number four. What be that in the fish tank? The fish tank seems to contain, along with the fish, a tiny treasure chest for decoration. What about statue? Ask about statue. Are you... I can't even deal. Tom explains that this is his opus, titled, The Room is Boring. It appears to consist of a tin can, a letter opener, and a metal plate with screws on its four corners. Any of the fish look dangerous? The fish are all quite tiny. As far as Ruby can tell, none of them are sharks. <laughs> <laughs> and what is that grate below the tank? It appears to be another sort of access hatch, this time with metal shutters over it. It's labeled Z-Hatch! And just underneath the where that's written, there's an empty space with four holes. It's Z-Hatch! Z-Hatch! It's actually German. His yeah. name is Rupert. <laughs> the, guy who German, made, yeah, right? the guy who made this was German. It, it looks like that. something used to go there. Ask about those round things on the wall next to him. <laughs> Tom explains that the five things on the walls are very functional buttons. It's but so far, he's only tried pressing the middle one. Examine that upside-down flower-slash-light-slash-water sprinkler thing above Tom. It's some sort of switch that can be pulled, but it looks like it's out of reach. I like how the commands have to, like, guess what the things are because of how shitty the drawing is. It's simplistic. Use can opener to cut through fence. <laughs> the grate is thin, but given that it's a cell, the metal is clearly very strong and unlike the barrel. It's not worn. The can opener would have no chance against it. Grab treasure, then dump aquarium on Tom. The fish tank is bolted to the pedal stin its own. Pedal st The pedal stin, yes. Pedal stin. <laughs> Which, in turn, is bolted to the floor. But the little treasure chest is coming with Ruby. She gets it added to her inventory. A little wet. It's about the size of her hand. Open <laughs> oh, treasure chest. It refuses to open. It must be locked. Get plate. Screw in plate. Tell Tom to press buttons. Firstly, Tom refuses to hand over the plate with the funny numbers on it, because it's part of his opus. Secondly, he couldn't pass it through the small openings in the grate, even if he wanted to give it to Ruby. And thirdly, Tom tells Ruby that when she pressed the middle button, he was electrocuted and hasn't pressed any of the others, and he will refuse to press any of the others until he is confident... They won't result in another near-death experience. Lastly, he has no clue what the overhead hatch does. He's never seen it open. Remind us, what is Ruby's current inventory? Ruby is carrying two coins, a can opener, a pair of rubber gloves, and now a tiny treasure chest. Tell Tom that you don't believe him unless he presses another button. Tom pouts and says that's fine, because he doesn't trust you either. Examine the hatch. <laughs> It's a small portal in the north wall. Ruby might be able to fit through if she cr crawled, but it's a moot point since she's blocked by a metal shutter. Moot, moot. Hand over gloves. The gloves won't fit through the grate. Try prying opening the chest with the coins. No luck, there's not enough of a gap to try it. Ask him what funny numbers is on that metal plate. Tom, asks, Tom says he doesn't trust you. And now he won't tell you the magic numbers on the plate. Maybe getting him to dislike you was a bad idea. You're probably going to need those numbers. Offer sexual favors for his cooperation. Tell him you'll sex him up if he cooperates. Oh, Ruby, you slut. <laughs> no, she's... She's better than that. Yeah. Whore? <laughs> that seems a little extreme. Ruby's not just very eager to give up her body for some stranger to ravage just so she can get numbers, especially if there's an alternative in any way she's shy. 
There must be a way to win over the cat. That's not quite so embarrassing. Okay, I can tell you fucking read that at all. How about Ruby just flashes him our tits? Uh, dude, there's a question mark. Whatever, fucking I'll read it. Any fans are searching for Ruby and Tom slash Jerry, Jerry Farwa are showing spoilers. It's fucking... Just jacking I'm not it. reading the 34 thing. Why not? Because it's rule goddamn 34 of this. I just read it. And I know, it. still. It's rule 34 of this. And? It's fucking weird. Really? Okay. You'll understand why it's weird later. Uh, After we get past stuff we haven't already goddamn read. Is it because they actually fuck or no? You'll get. You will is it get... because one of them kills the other? We'll find Is it because one of them eats the other's baby? Just read! <laughs> oh no! Unfortunately for all parties involved, Ruby is flat as a board. That probably won't work. Give the cat the fish. Ruby slips Tom's home with a metal fish in a gesture of goodwill. He's hungry, so he accepts. Hmm, fine. But as soon as we're somewhere where there are definitely no cameras, the revolution begins! Up with the mini skirts, down with the panties. Copy and paste it. Yeah. Apologize to Tom mentioned nonchalantly that you are jealous of his epic opus. Fucking opuses. Feeling a bit conned by your offering of fish, Tom graciously accepts the offers to rotate the piece of fish. Go upstairs and enter. Opens a hatch 211 into the terminal. Sure enough, Tom's code seems to work. The system accepts the function. Climb down and tell Tom you'll see where that Z hatch goes and crawl through it and try to come back to him. Climbing back down, Ruby finds that the Zihatiarera is now open. Just on the other side of the wall is a small room. Ruby tells Tom he'll be right back. Tom nods absently in reply, Hail Hiller. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You gonna read that question mark? Oh, I will, okay. Now Ruby gets down on her hands and knees and crawls through. Also, she shouldn't buy her adjusting her skirt first. I'm sure it will hang fine when she shimmies through the hatch. What was she wearing? Why was she wearing panties again? Nasty. Why? Whatever. Crawl through the hatch. The hatch! God damn it, Ben. You can't do it after you already said hatch. Too bad. I just did. <laughs> that's, an insult. that's an insult to mine Fiora. God. Don't. Don't do that. <laughs> just don't. I was going okay. for maybe more of a Sweden thing, yeah? Really? I swear Zaha. to God, we said something about Germans before. Yeah, but then I went for more of a Sweden thing, because Germany okay, is a touchy whenever, subject. Hitler. Sorry, Maybe... any Germans who ever watched this. Ever. Dude, man. Germany. I don't know. I like German. German man, Germany's German a cool is place. A nice place, and its language is hardcore. Oh, yeah. The most hardcore language I've seen in many years. You have a good accent. Indeed. Ruby gets an all force and crawls through the hatch with a... Rather suggestive series of movements. <gasps> but since that's boring, let's skip ahead of the part where she emerges into the room on the other side of the wall. But come on, author. Gonna read that question mark? Cock block. Okay. You know what amazing to me, TJ? <laughs> You're playing text parser RPGs and answer Mr. Ma <laughs> it crudely drowned female rabbit. There seems to be numeral cries of sexually related content regardless said Andrew Moore's first <laughs> rabbit and 909 posts not one person is safe fairy fucking props city scary scrape much as scrubs that Kyle's <laughs> impression no in no way shape or form represents his thoughts on the author this is a great story it represents my thoughts of people who use forums no. Or image boards or something. The bad people. On the worst people. Yeah, uh, yeah the worst people. And I'm assuming the people with the question marks are the worst people because they keep on trying to make her pull down her panties. So. Point. <laughs> Good <Yeah>. point. <laughs> Explain what each button seems to do. Ruby has no idea what each button seems to do. Perhaps you should interpret. Take diagram of buttons and give it to Tom. It looks like there was something behind the diagram. Inspect what looks like a safe on the wall in this room. It's some sort of metal cabinet, but it's locked up with the padlock. Take down picture of fish. It looks like an eye, actually. Look through what looks like a grate in the door to the left of the room. 
The slot in the door is closed, and appears to be opened only from the other side. In the short time of Jeff's time, Crash will be Christian. You bring the diagram to Tom. He is already starting to trust you, and with the added incentive that only one electrocution symbol is represented present fuck on the diagram, you manage to convince him the other button will not administer shocks. It's time to choose, Tom! What button should you press? Button one. Tom hesitates, standing close to the grate. But press is button one, not for a moment considering the diagram could have been coded based on the key sequence listed on the wall panel by the fish tank. Luckily that doesn't seem to be the case anyway! But nothing appears to happen, except that that button sinks into the wall just what the electro button did. And for a moment, there seems to be a faint distant beep. Check the aforementioned panel. In actuality, the panel seems to be some sort of guard reader. It has three lights, all red now. Oh shit, oh shit, I just got it, I know what just happened, go back upstairs. Oh, I'm returning to the first room. Shit, I just pressed, like, the back key. <laughs> Ruby notices something's changed. Press down, Bhutan. <laughs> I will, I will press the down, Press Bhutan. down, Bhutan. <laughs> I will, Jesus. Ruby presses the down, Bhutan. Bhutan. <laughs> and in the far corner of the room, another hatch opens up. Looking down, Ruby sees that the shaft leads straight into Tom's cell. But there's no ladder. Yo, can you stop the recording for a second? I gotta go for a second. What? what? Okay. Yeah. Yo. So it is flipped. Have Tom press button two now. Ruby calls down the open shaft and tells Tom to press button two now. Bhutan. Tom presses the second button, which caused the metal shutters on the Z hatch to shut immediately. Tell him to press button two a second time. <gasps> Don't press the button again, and the hatch lights open. Check inventory. <laughs> inventory. Oh, Ben. You dick. Ruby ha. is carrying five items at the moment. Examine all symbols closely. Try and combine each of the items with each other in any and all ways that would not destroy any of the items. Adventure games, yuck Yuck fair. Fair. Come to save the mother yuckin' fay, yeah. Father muckin' yeah. Father yeah. <laughs> fuck mothering vampire. <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm a fuck mothering vampire. Bitch, I eat people. Using one coin. Shit. Using one coin! The rubber gloves! I'm messing up so much right now with my whole shtick about the yelling. God, Kyle. <laughs> Okay, I can do this! Okay. <sighs> Using the coin, the rubber gloves, the tiny chest, and the piece of the button diagram. Ruby fashioned together the Junkotron missile launcher. This baby could break through a steel wall. No, wait! They don't! Too bad, I thought we really were onto something there. Help. The help and system information prompt is Mark. Mark. <laughs> unhelpful. The system seems to be local rather than connected to any external source, which means no internet. Oh god! Let's try to reach for the level... the lever. For now. <laughs> the lever. The lever. lever. <laughs> yes. Let me try- let me read the again. <laughs> Let's try to reach for the lever for now. Uh... What did- did nobody decide to go back and try to, like, edit that? No, nope, this is probably just copy and pasted. Nobody thought, oh, it doesn't say the. Just read. It says Fourth. clever. Well, Fourth that's time. fine. <laughs> Unfortunately. Wait, what? You said it's a fourth time again. Keep on saying that whenever I want to stop at like for five seconds, but fuck it. <laughs> Unfortunately, the shaft is too far to reach the lever from above. Drop the can opener down the chute and have him open the can. I can't just. Why is somebody using caps lock while entering commands? I mean, god damn it! Look out below. Tom sets to work opening the can. Success! Tom completely mangles the tin can 
Beyond anything usable to do his incompetence in operating a can opener, because he's retarded. But from inside the sealed can, he recovers an access card. Have him toss up the card and the letter opener. Despite Tom's impressive and manly physique, the card has d much uh, air resistance because of its shape and refused to be tossed at the shaft. Toss it so that the edge goes into the wind. Tom! Duh! It's no use! The access card can't be thrown that far without fluttering uselessly out of control. The letter opener, on the other hand, sails through easily. Open up the treasure chest using the letter opener. Unfortunately, um, words. There are still no cracks in the treasure chest big enough to pry anything in. It's sealed flush. What? Can he throw it's the sealed panel? flush. What? It's sealed flush. Yes. I. Okay. Whatever. You you read that? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I did. Can he throw the panel with four screws up? No! A problem for someone with much Fesifax family physique. Wire plans. Sadly, there's not nearly enough wire left in the barrel to make a cord down. Even less consider they'd have to be twisted together well enough to hold. Even with the cannibalized circuit panel, there wouldn't be enough. We should have tossed the can up. Load game! Oh, actually, we missed her question mark a while back. Eh, whatever. The one about saving the game. Yeah, whatever. Fourth time. Bucket. <laughs> yeah, fourth time! Hell yeah! Okay. <laughs> okay, it's obvious there's a way to get the card out without using a method of throwing, so let's go look for useful stuff in the Z-Hatch room. Uh, you missed. You, you didn't... She didn't... Our shtick has been ruined! Which one? The Z-Hatch one! Well's fourth time. No, 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 Ben, not fourth time. That joke was like old yeller, and you just brought it outside behind the house and all that. I brought it out behind the shed and gave it a big hug. <laughs> gave it a big fucking hug. Made it feel nice about itself. Exactly. Turns out it has some weird disorder where it explodes if it gets any self-esteem. No. Yes. Just read. Finish. I don't even know where I'm going with this analogy. Fourth time. <laughs> just keep just read. Best analogy ever. While well, giving up in the poorly imagined line of thought, Ruby instead descends back to explore the lower levels more. Now armed with a heftier inventory. She waves to Tom, who she's happy to see still alive. Fun fact. Tom and Ruby started out as parity char par characters in a comic about Animal Crossing. Tom was disaffected and reluctant, while Ruby was sex-obsessed and friendly. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, that. Screw plate back. Now it just says Hatch. Ruby decides to replace the nameplate before exploring the Hatch room again. Wait, shit, fuck. What? No, yeah, you read again. Are you- did you just clap? Did you just- <laughs> why were you clapping? I knew it, I just did it. You just started like, yep! Yeah, we're reading! <laughs> Hell what yeah. the? <laughs> yeah. Just fucking read. I just fuck my mic just fell. My god, Kyle, you're so <laughs> incompetent. This is this is fourth time, we're still fucking up. We're so good at this. We're pros and everybody who wants to do a let's play should look up to us. Just read. <laughs> Besides the fact that there's no visible mechanisms. However, once the play is replaced, the access card emerges from a hidden slot. On the fish tank's pedestal. Use access card in slot. The card reader eats the card. It's gone. In response, one of the lights turns from red to green. Go into next room and examine again. Oh boy! Ruby re-enters the Z-room. Something seems different. Say hello to whoever's behind the door. Oh boy! Ruby attempts the conversations are futile. The eyes stare coolly and silently from behind the slot in the door. Examine couch. The only interesting thing about the ha couch is how unremarkable it is. It doesn't even have distinct cushions to rifle through. Try to remove the eye. Use the letter opener to pry the frame. Refills with the letter opener, and in doing so, finds out that it fits perfectly into the empty pupil of the eyeball painting. It locks into position. How about that? 
A soft quick comes from the door, oh boy. Open the door. Oh boy, fair enough. Oh my, it's happening. Oh boy. That would be scary oh if this wasn't the fourth time. Wait, I missed a question mark. Hold on. Thank you, Lelouch. Oh, Lelouch. <laughs> right. <laughs> ah! It's a small closet. Not much room inside. It reeks of death. But at this point, what choice does Ruby have? Oh my! Son of a bitch. Hurrah! I knew the scenes, you had you meant a zombie. Son of a bitch. God damn it. Oh Run! <laughs> Ruby flees the room as fast as you can, but the most monstrous thing is near her heels shaking after her. <sighs> Stupid jar, I can't read. Shut that. Shut that! <laughs> as Ruby enters the room, she shouts at the top and press the blue button again. Fast times are confused panic after he and the unearthed the stream. We should feed the monster a fish. That will calm it down. That's a retarded idea. Tom, press the button. Oh boy. Make, Make friends. friends. Feed, feed fish, fish to, zombies. to zombies. Good times. Head back into the Z room. Good four times. <laughs> Just to constantly remind our small, small audience that we did this four times. And by the small audience, you mean the people looking this shit up on Tumblr after I reblog it, because no one's looking at this shit on YouTube. Yeah. 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 <coughs> anyway! <coughs> Tom opens the hatch just to make sure the monstrous thing is dealt with. No signs of movement come from it or the room beyond. There is still only silence. And blood. Lot ah! Blood! Lots of blood. My favorite. Inside the small closet is a ball of string. Ruby takes it with her. Obviously, this ball of string is the culprit. I remember when you we first read this the first time that you were legitimately scared and freaking out yes, about I that. Yes, I was legitimately like shitting my pants. Yeah, that was great. It got real fast. Yep, it really did. It really uh, oh, oh! <laughs> oh my God, a scarecrow! Jesus fucking dick Christ, Eric! <laughs> uh, wait, Eric? You, that's that's a joke for my brother. <laughs> Uh, well, guess where your brother is right now. In the room right next to me. Oh my god, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared now. There's something gold in the remains. Pick it up. Am I being judged? A little. Damn it! It appears to be a teensy tiny key. Use it on the teensy tiny treasure chest. <laughs> it looks open softly. <laughs> go, no, go. You string to achieve key card now. I'm not shouting. Fuck that. Uh, why not, huh? I'm not shouting. I'm All of our sticks. They're like old yeller, but without the hugs. They're just sort of. Di they're they're dying like flies. Yes. They're just like every character in Homestuck. Ruby. Humor. Head. <laughs> what? Humor. Yeah. Yeah. Humor. Yeah. Yeah. Comedy. <laughs> yeah. We're funny, yeah. Totally. Ruby heads back into the room with the cell. Ruby calls down the instructions, then lowers the string. Tom ties the guard at the end. Ruby goes back up. Tom asks Ruby to let him out. Tom really wants to come out. Tom plays scared, and he's dropped. Tom and Ruby let him out now. Let him out. Ruby is the two men in the guard and the red, 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 and the green, right? Bunch of shit. Bunch of shit. Wait, are you gonna read them, or am I gonna read them? Uh, should we alternate? Yeah, you go first. He's going to kill her! The whole thing was a trap! Run up the ladder, dammit! Fuck no! Don't let him out. If I saw a blood ahead chasing someone at the close proximity, I'd shit my pants. Tom's reaction to the whole ordeal. If been nothing short, nonchalant, something is fishy and dumb. It's not what they ate. Uh. Hug him. You have both been through a lot together. He was almost electrocuted to death and had to trust a complete stranger to do something he knew could possibly do the same to him again. And I don't think I have to tell you what horrors Ruby has faced. Moral consolation for damn it, hug. They have no arms, you cruel fiend! It's my favorite. Yeah. It's my favorite question mark. They have no arms, you cruel fiend! <laughs> hug him. Eyes open. And it's over.
and that's the end of the fourth reading, and this better fucking be golden. Remember, guys, I'm cool, he's cool, you should keep watching all the time, man. Subscribe and shit, bye.